what does it mean to live in the information age? It's one of those things we accept without often examining. Information isn't just a fact or a piece of knowledge. It's how and when and why it is conveyed. This was true even in the early history of what information was to our species, which arguably was our core distinguishing characteristic, our ability to communicate information through language, especially across generations. Consider then that the internet has been called the most significant invention since the printing press. The internet is such a profound part of our daily lives that it's easy to forget just how much it has changed and in how short of a time. In the blink of an eye, in less than half a generation, we have become a radically globally enmeshed society. There is a future coming where we use the incredible processing power we now have access to to create layers of organization and scaffolding that bring us back together. You might be wondering what all this has to do with video games, and the answer is, of course, a lot. The answer lives inside another question. Are games art or are they technology? A video game is made out of logic. It simulates a kind of reality, even if that reality is not the one we live in. It is immersive, but it is also built to persuade and to beguile. But the atoms it fundamentally manipulates are information atoms, as is the case with all art. The result of true art is also the creation of meaning. Video games are special because they represent an experiential art form that understands technology. Hearts and minds are changed not from facts, but from art. Games, therefore, have an obligation to be a critical bridge creating meaning from technology. Clearly, the absence of that meaning is not only creating fear of technology, but it's now pulling apart the very fabric that connects our society. We can make a difference against that problem because of our fluency with technology and because of our fearlessness as creators of art. For makers of art, and especially makers of art who wield technology, I think it's important to stare as clearly as we possibly can at these dynamics and to work hard to thoughtfully describe what we see happening in society. We ourselves are makers of mirrors because art reflects back what it sees in society. If we can do that deliberately, we have a potentially tremendous healing power to bring to bear against our current social crises. We have the opportunity to guide humanity toward a new value set capable of meeting the challenge of the coming generation.